Today we're going to create a custom login splash screen for the composite applications. To do this, there are several steps we need to do. First, we'll create a custom screen Swift with Flash Builder, starting with sample sources we extract from the experience server. Next, we'll need to modify a configuration file using CRX Delight tool on the experience server. And last, we'll need to upload the Swift to the experience server using the content loader tool. So let's start by finding some sample sources. From the content repository, reach from this URL here, we'll use CRX Delight to try to find our sources. And I happen to know that they're located right here under the root folder etc aep samples caf source. In particular, we're looking for the dashboard source. There's another zip file with some concepts, but for now, we'll just download them both. And to do that, we'll use another tool. The tool we use is the content zipper. So we'll browse to our same source location, Etsy, AEP, samples, CAF, source, click open. We'll set our format to be zip, and we can leave the file name the same, that's fine. And we'll export this down to our hard drive. When the save option comes up, we'll save it onto our hard disk. Okay, let's start with an empty Flex project I've created called My Splash. First thing I'm going to do is create an Assets folder where I can put my new picture for my splash screen. Make a new folder called Assets. I'm just going to drag my image into that folder. We'll look at it later. Now we need to add the source that we just downloaded under a hard drive and unzipped. And under the zip file, we've got a folder called Styles. Inside there, we've got Slate init styles and the source for that. Main, Flex, and inside Flex, we have a CSS file and a package file. What we're going to do is copy the CSS and all the package sources onto our source folder. OK. Okay, let's look at our CSS file. It's here in the default package. And we have to remember to compile this into a Swift, so we set the flag for that. And then we open the file. And we can see it on the splash screen, there's a couple of colors. These are set for the background, and it's usually used as a gradient color, so let's make sure we change them into something that we'll recognize. Let's turn them into blue and white. And we also notice that the class reference is inside that com folder that we copied. Com Adobe Mosaic Samples, Client Dashboard, Slate, Slate Splash Screen Skin. So we'll look at that next. Okay, let's open up our Splash Screen Skin itself and look at that. There's a couple things to notice right away here. First is the style sheet, top color and bottom color that we set in the style sheet are picked up in red right here. They're acquired from the style sheet and set to these values. These values are then used, the rectangle gradient, top color and bottom color. We change those to blue and white. For the heck of it, let's just change this to 90 degrees. And we want to add our background image. So the first thing we've got to do is add, an, add a uh, namespace here for MX. Hang on. And we'll add our image itself. Right below the rectangle. And since it's going to be on the server, we have to embed the source here. So we've embedded our source dragon image. And we're going to set the height to 50% just because you want it to take up the whole screen. We want to make sure that our color gradients were applied in our background also. So that's all we should need to do. We can save this and build it. 
And while, once we have it built, we need to then worry about how to get it back up onto the server. We'll do that next. Next, we need to go up to the server and change the configuration file. For that, we'll go to CRXDelight and navigate to a folder, Libs, Mosaic, Components, Index. I'm going to edit the index.jsp file. We need to change the name of the Swift that's being used for the splash screen. It's about line 67 or so. So we'll just change the name of this file to our new one. Slate. Save this. I'm done for that step. To upload our new splash screen Swift to the server, we use another tool called Content Loader. We can browse for where it's supposed to go, which is Content, Mosaic, Viewer, Assets, open that folder, browse to where our file is. In this workspace, my splash, bin debug. Here's our new Swift. We don't need to change any of the settings here, we just simply import it. And it completed fine. So now, if we point our browsers to a composite application up on the server, we should see our new splash screen. And there it is. Let's close down the login panel. We can see we have a custom image and we have a gradient from dark blue to white in 90 degrees. All done. Thank you.